we in Altera have been operating a large fleet of shuttle tankers in harsh environment in the North Sea for more than 40 years. Now we are using this experience to develop, build and operate our Stella Maris CCS project. We are building large maritime flexible shared infrastructure for emitters across Europe. We strongly believe that building shared ships, shared terminals and storage is key to drive the cost of CCS down. We are operating out of Stavanger and we strongly believe that Norway is in a unique position to be a hub for the development of CO2 storage in Europe. Now we are inviting you out to our shuttle tanker Amundsen Spirit to show you the size of the CO2 carriers we are building to operate Stella Maris. Well, one of the benefits of a maritime solution for CCS is the flexibility. You can collect CO2 from multiple point sources through clusters near to coastal regions, and you can also scale the solution uh, appropriate to the level of demand uh, for transport and storage. The North Sea is special due to the harsh weather conditions during winter time. There can be long periods with very harsh weather and short periods with weather windows for loading where we have to maintain and be able to connect and load on short notice. The DP is a dynamic positioning system that keeps the vessel in a wanted position related to the FPSO. Our experience from shuttle business is very beneficial for operating a CO2 carrier. It will be beneficial because the procedures for connecting a CO2 carrier to an STL buoy at a field will be more or less the same procedures as connecting a shuttle tanker to an STL buoy at a field for loading oil. Altera is actively engaging with the European Commission, uh, with the European Parliament, and also with the Norwegian government on ensuring that CCS takes center stage in the decarbonization agenda for Europe. We have excellent storage potential in the Norwegian continental shelf, and we also have the technology and the know-how to provide transport and storage services to ensure permanent and safe storage of CO2. Uh, I find it really exciting to work with CCS because it's something that is highly important in terms of reaching our climate goals, but it's also something new and it's a lot of exploring and development before we can actually commercialize CCS. And I'm really proud to be a part of a team that's on a mission to actually do something for the climate, but we also need to do a lot of new things in order to get there. The CCS market is under constant development and things happen really fast. Uh, there are several CCS projects in Europe, but we see that there are more projects on the capturing side than projects that offer transport and storage. We believe that our Stella Mars project will be one of the first movers in Europe and we see this as realistic as we have been awarded a storage license in Norway. The maritime solution allows for quick deployment and it's flexible. However, in the future, we see different infrastructure, both pipeline and ships, because there is more enough CO2 for everyone. The European Commission has labeled CCS as a strategic climate technology in order to meet its net zero targets by 2050. The Commission estimates that Europe will need to capture and store 500 million tons of CO2 from heavy industries like steel, cement, chemical manufacturing that have very few other decarbonization options in order to meet its net zero targets. In addition to that, technologies like bio-CCS, direct air capture, will play a significant role in carbon removals in order to meet the Paris Agreement and limit global temperature warming to the 1.5 degree target.